Negotiations between the South African Airways Pilots Association and business rescue practitioners have deadlocked. The association refused to accept a proposal that would see salaries cut by at least 50%. The rescue practitioners then imposed a 48-hour lockout. Let's get the latest from the association's chairperson, Grant Back, who joins us from Sedgefield. Good morning to you, Grant. Why has the company locked you out? Well, good morning, Jane, and good morning to the viewers. Uh, it's a good question, Jane. Um, we have been locked out basically down to the fact that uh, the BPE and the business rescue practitioners aren't getting what, exactly what they want. Uh, we've been negotiating with the company in good faith for many months now. Uh, we've made significant concessions and moves to date, and we've already uh, agreed in principle to reduce our salaries in the, uh, today's climate uh, between 40 and 50 percent. Uh, we've made considerable uh, concessions on our hotels, on our sick leave, on our annual leave. In fact, all the things that they were very concerned about, and they, when we started the negotiations of late, they said these are the critical items that we need to move on. The reason we've landed up at this dispute and subsequent lockout is because we will not agree to the unlawful retrenchment of pilots based on race. It's against the law of the country. We've made significant concessions as far as uh, not applying LIFO, uh, which is the last in, first out, fairest principle uh, in labor relations and, uh, and law. Uh, and funny enough, which the rest of the company is using, by far, except for the pilots. And of course, if we went down that road, we would have a problem with a lot of our junior pilots. And that's why what we have proposed is scientifically based, uh, as opposed to just what we feel is sucking a number out of thin air, which seems to happen a lot lately, if you consider some of the comments made by the DPE, uh, in particular, about our salaries. Yes, they seem to be uh, rather obsessed about your salary, saying that you are the second highest paid in the world. Is that true? Well, I wish it was, Jane, uh, but no, it's not true, uh, not at all. In fact, um, I believe the IATA issued a statement shortly after the DG had made that statement, saying that they distanced themselves from the DPE, that in fact this was totally untrue. There's never been a study done like that, in particular just with SAA pilots as benchmarked by IATA. Uh, and, as, and as far as, if I'm not mistaken, in our negotiations of 2019, the company actually released figures that they had done uh, on an analysis looking at airline pilot salaries from around the world. And we were actually below the international average. And these were actually from figures released to the board of SAA by South African Airways, HR and ER, uh, and uh, of course shared with the union as well. So uh, Jane, no, I think uh, that's a little bit of reaching. And I think it's all to create the smear campaign to make the pilots look out uh, or seem to be overpaid, uh, our terms and conditions way off kilter with the rest of the world. Um, and, of course, that our agreement was signed in 1988, making it uh, an agreement, agreement which has really uh, been so onerous on the company. Uh, that agreement, incidentally, was uh, re-signed in 1994, uh, 1997, uh, 2014, uh, and uh, the company at any stage uh, could have chosen to lock us out if they wanted to change that agreement. Uh, which, as you can see, has been changed on numerous times over the last 20 years. And, Grant, I mean, how many pilots are there at the moment, and when were you last paid? Uh, Jane, uh, let me get to the first part of that, uh, the payment. We haven't uh, received a salary across the board uh, since April. Uh, we currently have 383 pilots remaining at SAA. Uh, we have 224 pilots uh, that took the VSP. Uh, and then in the new plan going forward, uh, it calls for the retention or rehiring of up to 88 pilots. Um, we've had, I mean, obviously it's been extremely difficult for so many of, uh, not only the pilots, but all the employees at SA who have not received a salary uh, since April. Um, and uh, yeah, in fact, I've received so many emails uh, which relate to the fact that uh, so many families uh, are destitute. They moved in with their parents, uh, they've had to take um, children out of school, uh, homeschooling, uh, sell houses at well below market price. Um, and it's really devastating what's happened, not only because we haven't been paid in X amount of months, but because we haven't been retrenched, knowing it's coming. Uh, this lockout is absolutely incredible that they would do something like this because it restricts us gaining access to pension funds and provident funds that we've saved up for over years, uh, which could certainly alleviate a lot of the pressure that, uh, that everyone's under.
I mean, yeah, the whole process seems to be incredibly abusive, doesn't it? And, and there's so many lives affected by this. The, the offer made by the DPE of three months back pay, why have you not accepted that, particularly in the light of not being paid for so long? Uh, Jane, you know, we, um, as I've said before, due to operational reasons, if the company needs to downsize, then it needs to retrench. And that's what it should have done. Um, in fact, as early as uh, last year in December, when we went into business rescue, we suggested to the company that they should be furloughing pilots. It's a, it's a policy that's used at airlines all around the world. And um, it would have reduced the salary bill significantly, uh, but the company chose to ignore uh, the suggestion. Why didn't we take the three months on offer? Well, Jane, every single month that I'm employed at SAA, uh, I'm offering to tender my services. I believe there could have been a lot more work than SAA currently has. Um, and I have to pay, as do everyone else, certain bills that come due every month. Now, if the company doesn't need me, then retrench me and give me access to, A, my severance pay that I can use to uh, cater to my life expenses, uh, as well as giving me access to my pension fund. What the company is doing is, they, or the DPE, should I say, is they've turned around to labor and they've said, we've realized we're actually not going to pay you, or we're suggesting we not pay you for what we owe you, the eight months that are, that are outstanding. Rather, we have the moral and ethical, quote unquote, obligation to the employees of the subsidiaries. So SA Technical, Mango, and nothing against those employees. I understand we've all got difficult times, but they want to use the money that's been earmarked for salaries for SAA employees for the startup of SAA version 2.0, which only will have 88 pilots, so the rest of us need to be retrenched. Um, and on top of that, uh, you know, we've, we're, we're honestly using that money to not only seed the, the new company, but to give to the subsidiaries as well. And we can't stand for that. It's uh, unac unacceptable. Uh, the company has an obligation to pay its employees, and it needs to do so. The money is there. 1.5 billion rand was put into SA's account, I think it's two weeks ago now. The DPE has got involved where they shouldn't have. This is the BRP's um, jurisdiction. They have a mandate to run the company and to fulfill their payments as per the business rescue plan, and they're not. Okay, Grant, I hope we don't have to have this conversation next year. I'm going to let you go and enjoy your holiday. Thanks.